Good afternoon. <clears throat> Uh, my colleagues and I remain squarely focused on achieving our dual mandate goals of maximum employment and stable prices for the benefit of the American people. Our economy is strong overall and has made significant progress toward our goals over the past two years. The labor market has cooled from its formerly overheated state. Inflation has eased substantially from a peak of 7% to an estimated 2.2% as of August. We're committed to maintaining our economy's strength by supporting maximum employment and returning inflation to our 2% goal. Today, the Federal Open Market Committee decided to reduce the degree of policy restraint by lowering our policy interest rate by a half percentage point. This decision reflects our growing confidence that with an appropriate recalibration of our policy stance, strength in the labor market can be maintained in a context of moderate growth and inflation moving sustainably down to 2%. We also decided to continue to reduce our securities holdings. I will have more to say about monetary policy after briefly reviewing economic developments. <clears throat> Recent indicators suggest that economic activity has continued to expand at a solid pace. GDP rose at an annual rate of 2.2% in the first half of the year and available data point to a roughly similar pace of growth this quarter. Growth of consumer spending has remained resilient, and investment in equipment and intangibles has picked up from its anemic pace last year. In the housing sector, investment fell back in the second quarter after rising strongly in the first. Improving supply conditions have supported resilient demand and the strong performance of the U.S. economy over the past year. In our summary of economic projections, committee participants generally expect GDP growth to remain solid with a median projection of 2% over the next few years. In the labor market, conditions have continued to cool. Payroll job gains averaged 116,000 per month over the past three months, a notable step down from the pace seen earlier in the year. The unemployment rate has moved up but remains low at 4.2%. Nominal wage growth has eased over the past year, and the jobs to workers gap has narrowed. Overall, a broad set of indicators suggest that conditions in the labor market are now less tight than just before the pandemic in 2019. The labor market is not a source of elevated in inflationary pressures. The median projection for the unemployment rate in the SEP is 4.4% at the end of this year, four tenths higher than projected in June. Inflation has eased notably over the past two years, but remains above our longer run goal of 2%. Estimates based on the Consumer Price Index and other data indicate that total PCE prices rose 2.2% over the 12 months ending in August, and that excluding the volatile food and energy categories, core PCE prices rose 2.7%. Longer-term inflation expectations appear to remain well anchored, as reflected in a broad range of surveys of households, businesses, and forecasters, as well as measures from financial markets. The median projection in the SEP for total PCE inflation is 2.3% this year and 2.1% next year, somewhat lower than projected in June. Thereafter, the median projection is 2%. <clears throat> Our monetary policy actions are guided by our dual mandate to promote maximum employment and stable prices for the American people. For much of the past three years, inflation ran well above our 2% goal, and labor market conditions were extremely tight. Our primary focus had been on bringing down inflation, and appropriately so. We are acu acutely aware that high inflation imposes significant hardship as it erodes purchasing power, especially for those least able to meet the higher costs of essentials, like food, housing, and transportation. Our restrictive monetary policy has helped restore the balance between aggregate supply and demand, easing inflationary pressures and ensuring that inflation expectations remain well anchored. Our patient approach over the past year has paid dividends. Inflation is now much closer to our objective and we have gained greater confidence that inflation is moving sustainably toward 